Hopping into game number five here between Overdosed and Final Ownage Elite. And the player for Final Ownage Elite you see on your screen right now with the clan tag FOE is on the verge of all killing Overdosed. We're going to have to see if he can go ahead and close this out. And here he is, up here in the top left side of the map, Polar Knight. We'll go ahead and try to close out this clan war for Final Onage Elite, the champion of the night. We once again, have Taiji. And down here in the bottom left side, for Polar Knight, playing a four overdose, the man gonna go ahead and try to stop the onslaught of the Zerg player, the Yellow Terran player. We have Van SC Skyman. All right, well, Skyman clearly not confident in his TVZ as he's saying we lose, meaning Overdosed is going to go ahead and lose this final game, and that's at least what he's saying. I'm not sure. Maybe he pulls some rabbit out of the hat and pulls a miracle, but I don't know, man. There's Taiji's standard uh, extractor trick into later overload into triple drone. Skyman, I'm going to go ahead and go for that supply depot there at the wall for that wall off. So we'll have to see his opening build. Is it a 12 12 Reaper expand? Now, in, when when you're in doubt, Skyman, if you really wanted to, you could always proxy, proxy barracks, but he's not going to do that. And he's not going for gas on 12, so this uh, he's going to go ahead and throw down on 13. It's a little bit later, but it's not terrible. He's still able to get a Reaper out in a timely manner, still able to get a factory and all that fun, fun stuff. So Taiji, I'm going to go ahead and go for that 15 hatchery, completely standard. That's what he's done versus Spongehead, which unfortunately, that was the game where the Terran player did disconnect, and we unfortunately uh, just had to forfeit the game in favor of Final Ownage Elite. And if you remember from that game, Taiji went Lingbane Muta, wasn't very heavy on the upgrades, but he went Broodlords instead of the more standard and traditional Ultralisk. And the Broodlords were doing a really good job at holding the Terran army back from getting under those Overlords, or from, from getting under the Broodlords. What I meant to say is the Overlords are going to fly in here and maybe in danger here by Skyman's Marines, so I'll have to see if that Marine can go ahead and pay for himself, but that's kind of how that game panned out, and unfortunately we didn't get to see the end of it, as again, Overdose was forced to forfeit, but this uh, should be played out relatively similar by Taiji. So the question now is, is how, how is Skyman going to play it? Because we already kind of know how Taiji's going to play it. Is Skyman going to play similar to Spongehead? It looks like he may, as he, he's got that second Reaper on the way. The first one did pop out, and actually went Marine first. So this Marine is really here to hunt for these Overlords, try to supply block Taiji early on, which is always, always a great thing to do if you're a Terran player. Now this Reaper is going to go ahead and make its way across the map. We'll catch one Zergling, maybe. You'll have to see how good Taiji's micro is. It's been really good on the drones, but we'll lose one Zergling to this Reaper. And actually, Taiji overcommits. Actually, doesn't overcommit, but builds more Zerglings than normal. So perhaps he's feeling a little bit of pressure here, as he built six links instead of the normal four we've seen him build in pretty much every other game. I think he was trying to send those six links to try to stop this Marine. The Overlord got away in the end, however, with, with 63 HP. Factory's on the way now. The two Reapers are on the map as well. So we're going to see how much damage these guys can do. One queen down at the natural, one queen down on the main. Two more being produced, bringing into a total of four queens. And ooh, Skyman, you got to be careful with that Reaper, man. You can't lose that guy. These guys are your most important early game units as a Terran. Really letting you have that really early map control and that kind of harassment potential, really trying to scare the Zerg to try to keep them inside their base as long as you can. So. So far, Skyman's doing a pretty decent job, but so isn't Taiji. As Taiji has not taken any worker losses, he's taken one Zergling loss, which isn't the best. And actually, a second factory now for Skyman, so could be seeing that Blue Flame Hellion play, which is always exciting. Uh, it's definitely something the Zerg's got to scout, and the Zerg has got to scout it. You have to. If you go Lings versus Blue Flame Hellions, you lose. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be that blunt, and I'm sorry to make it seem like if he doesn't scout it, there's no hope. But really, there's not. 
you, 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 what do you have? Lings? You don't have any roaches? If you don't have a roach one and all you can make is lings versus blue flame hellions, you're probably gonna die. Or you may not die, but you'll lose pretty much your entire drone line if you, you know, you, you know, with, with the amount of hellions that you build through blue flame hellions, you're able to take on the queens pretty easily. And there's that tech lab on that factory, so really I think we may see those blue flame hellion style come to fruition, but oh, Taiji. Taiji preparing for all eventualities, throwing down that Roach Warren, and he's going to be safe versus this. It may seem like he may be stream cheating or something, but this is something Zergs have started to do more and more, is get this Roach Warren for defense, and actually Skyman going for a Siege Tank. So I'm not going to go for that Blue Flame Hellion style, as I had expected, which is fine, but that means we're going to play Mech. Well, we're not going to play Mech, of course. Skyman's going to play Mech. And Taiji's going to have to make sure he scouts this and is able to see this. And again, it all comes down to Taiji scouting. Because he can always go Mass Roach into Muta with Tunneling Claws. Ooh, this third base is cancelled, though. Skyman making great use of these early Reapers and Hellions. Really abusing their mobility. And the fact that the Queens are really slow off creep. And 11 Roaches on the way now for Taiji is Skyman going to be able to hold. Skyman does have a tank already on the map. So that's definitely going to help him. But that is going to be the crucial unit in this defense here for Skyman. If this one tank falls, it's going to be a world of trouble for Skyman. If this tank falls, that's pretty much it. Like, there's going to be nothing he can really build, and now he sees the Skyman, does see all these roaches, these hellions may all fall in the middle of the map, looks like, oh, actually, another one falls, three may get out of there, the Reaper's going to die as well, and these lings are going to pursue these, we'll get two of them, is those hellions, and no, Sky Skyman not losing that one in the red health, excuse me, these roaches now barreling down on the front door, is Skyman going to be able to hold this wall, that's the big question, this SCV is not done building this, but Taiji may actually run away seeing the siege tank, and will decide, okay, I don't want to commit to that. I could lose way too much in that, and that's never a terrible decision. Taiji getting that lair now, and the third base may be under threat. No, Taiji's already got creep there, so these queens are a little bit quicker than they were before. Banshee on the way now for Skyman. The one is rallied over to this fourth base, and Taiji double expanding, knowing he has to do something. He's got to get himself back in this game. Not not that he's out of this game already, but, I mean, he's lo he's forced to cancel the third base. That's such a terrible loss, and he knows he has to get his economy up and running as quick as he can. These Roach is going to pick off these Hellions in the middle of the map here, so that's really good for Taiji. Skyman just going to sit here defensively. He has two command centers building in his main base in a third factory, and this first Banshee is out, which I unfortunately forgot to follow, but it's it's here, and it's not doing anything. There's, there's an Overlord here. Taiji may have not seen it. Does he see this Banshee? Oh yeah, he sees the Banshee, and Skyman actually had it selected there for a second, and now is going to move it, but unfortunately, it's already been spotted, these queens can now react, but unfortunately, I think Taiji's actually rallying his queens the wrong way, he will go ahead and bring those queens on over here to this fourth base, but Skyman's already doing a decent amount of damage, which this does become a target later in the game for a potential mech push, looks like this Banshee, ooh, it's got Cloak as well, which is really good because now it's going to force an Overseer. Oh, there's, over, there's already an Overseer here. So again, Taiji preparing for every single eventuality. This is something this guy does so well, is he reacts and he just kind of sits here. He He's like, all right, I'll just absorb everything you throw at me. He sees a Banshee, immediately builds an Overseer with the Lair, and he's just like, fine, I'll do whatever I want now because I held off anything you could possibly throw at me. This is something... Taiji does so well. I mean, he's, he's just so solid. He's got his early opening build is the same every single time. He's been able to react really well every time as well. This Roach may get over here and spot this third base. I think it will in the end. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. So that, that could definitely be a little bit of a factor. But Skyman taking his third base fairly early, and he's got three Banshees on the map now. One is in very low health, unfortunately. He's going to have to be careful with that guy. Plus two attack on the way for the Roaches and Hydras. Plus two ground carapace, not quite researched. Got the Galil Reconstitution upgrade and the Grooved Spines upgrade on the way for Taiji as well. These, these Banshees, man, they're, they're playing fire. They're playing with fire, but pure Banshee pretty much coming out of Skyman. Well, they also two tanks, but it's pretty much nothing but Banshees from here on out for Skyman. So this is a really interesting style. Going to be playing Tank Banshee which unfortunately is susceptible, highly, 
highly susceptible to mutas, unfortunately. And here we go, Taiji actually going to come in here for an attack. As his Overseer will kill these two Widomites, will force the lift here on this third base. This tank, these tanks are in really, really good spots, but I don't know if it's going to be enough as Banshee is going to do a lot, but may get shut down by these Hydra. These tanks from Skyman are in such good position, but the third base was killed. Luckily, though, for Skyman, he did build two command centers in his main base, so he still has an extra one going for him. And where were those other Banshees? I th yeah, all the other Banshees on the map were killed off, as it looks like Skyman got a little bit too overzealous and actually lost two of those three Banshees out on the map. So that's really unfortunate for him. He really wanted to keep those guys alive. 80 drones to 57 SCVs. Taiji is definitely on the optimal drone count. It's going to be nothing but pumping units from here on out. Taiji going to come in see if he can do anything, but no, will actually go back, not knowing how many tanks are actually still there. And the blue flames now on the way for Skyman, and there is Vipers on the way here fairly shortly, I believe, as the hive is halfway completed. 21 roaches on the way for Taiji, so he's going to look to make something happen a little bit. Take, look to take a trade early on, and make to look that trade. Make to look that trade. Make to look that. Yes, make to look that trade efficient. I'm sorry, it didn't sound right when I was saying. It sounded like I was being retarded. Taiji moving in here now, these missile turrets being picked on the sensor tower, not gonna finish. These tanks actually clocking on the roaches over there, drawing away the fire from those hydras. Really nice splitting so far from Taiji. And there's only a few tanks, well there's still a decent amount of tanks left here, but Taiji may get a kill on this third command center. Again, he does huge losses so far for Skyman. He's having a really hard time holding on to this third base. He has another one built in his main, though, so he's really doing a nice job on making sure he's got enough command centers to replenish any one he loses. Four Vipers on the way now as well, and that was a really nice trade for Taiji. Taiji now on that hive tech, and those Vipers are on the way, so blinding clouds, abducts, all possibilities right now. And Skyman's got this huge tank line. He's got, you know, tanks are here, and then they just kind of go back, which is really, really scary. But, again, Taiji taking the fifth base now and he is just he's rolling man he's he's rolling like the caissons man he is he's feeling good he's feeling real good i can tell you that for a fact he's got tunneling claws about to finish burrow about a quarter of the way completed the plus two ground carapace just about completed and the plus three zerg missile attacks while skyman is only on plus one attack that's never what you want as a mech player and there's that spire coming down for taiji his staple unit the mutilus Will we make an appear well may make an appearance in this game if he doesn't kill Skyman right here, right now, with this attack that he's looking to make. He's got those vipers. Where are those vipers? I hear them moving around. I hear them moving around. There they are. There's those vipers. And these tanks are very clumped up. A one blinding cloud on this set of tanks right here. Very, very big deal. And here comes Taiji. He's gonna go ahead and try to make an attack, but no, will back out. No, the Viper's gonna go in first. He's gonna get those blinding clouds all over those tanks. Those tanks are completely useless right now. Skyman gonna be forced to unseed. There's no artillery range here for Skyman. And again, Taiji doesn't care that he's running into his own blinding cloud. He knows he's got a ton of stuff here. He's gonna be able to kill pretty much every single tank, all everything from Skyman being forced to retreat now. These tanks are gonna go ahead and re-siege, and he's getting right on the siege line here. Is Taiji? There is still, there's no more uh, energy for Blinding Cloud, but I don't think it matters. I think he's broken. Skyman clearly very upset, and Taiji showing he can play versus Terrans. He can play versus Protoss. The only race we did not see him play against tonight, unfortunately, was a Zerg showing Mech is nothing to him. And as you can, uh, you know, and that's that's what happens man i mean you know that's that's what happens you know you, you get those vipers you get that hive tech you know you, as a terran player you're not expecting vipers that early so you've got your big giant mech ball or not your mech ball but your big tank ball you've got them all clumped up you know to make sure they deal the maximum amount of damage vipers fly on blinding cloud and then your entire army dies so I think the big deal there for Skyman was clumping up his tank as much as he did. The blinding clouds came down, and now was it also losing his third command center about three times? That's never good either. But uh, that's going to go ahead and confirm the all kill for final ownage elite. Wow. Pr pretty brutal. Yeah, that is that is very brutal, and that's that's something no clan ever wants to have happen is just to have this one guy come out and wipe out your entire lineup you know but yeah 
Skyman was clearly not happy with his, with his performance, but that will wrap up the clan war and I believe wrap up the stream. Um, I think. I mean, of course, it's not it's not my stream, it's your stream, so I don't have any call over that. Uh, I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be ending the stream. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Follow if you'd like. I'd appreciate it a lot. Um... This was my first crack at uh, trying to follow the action around um, while the caster casts, so I don't know what name, what job name that is, but Observer. I hope I did an okay, yeah, I hope I did a, I guess, yeah, the obs, I hope I, get, I, hope I did an okay job, um, let me know what you thought. Also, if you could, uh, uh, my co-caster here, if you could uh, take a look and let me know what you thought, um, if there's anything I could do.